Teachers in Loop are presented with an empty loop course page for each of your modules for the upcoming academic year. These have been auto-created from information in ITS and Course Builder. You will need to manually import content from last year's course to the new one. It is a straightforward process that only requires a few clicks. Your new class of students will only have access to the new course, and last year's students will have access to last year's course. That is why you cannot use last year's courses for this year. You must import your content into your new empty courses. On your loop dashboard, find the new empty course for the upcoming year. Make sure your filter is set to all. If you are having difficulty locating your new empty course, Switch to list view to make it easier to find. If you still cannot find it, use the course search feature to locate it. If it appears in the search results, it means it is available on loop, but perhaps you are not enrolled as a teacher. If it does not appear in the search results, it means it has not been auto-created. Remember, if you have a module running for the first time in the upcoming academic year, it won't have been auto-created. Either way, log a ticket with the ISS help desk to resolve the issue. Go to your new empty loop course for the upcoming academic year. Remember to check the academic year is correct in the title. From the Actions menu gear icon on the right hand side, select Import. A list of courses appears. These courses are those that you are enrolled in as a teacher. It is not a list of every course on loop. You only see those that you should have access to. Select last year's course from the list, or if it does not appear, use the search field to locate it. Remember to include the academic year. Select the course from the search results. Select continue. The default import settings on this screen should suit your needs, but do deselect anything else that you do not need to bring across. Choose next. You are now presented with a list of all activities and resources from last year's course. It is a good idea to scan through the list and deselect all of the activities and resources you no longer need. Some resources may be out of date, or some files may no longer be relevant. Use this as an opportunity for a quick cleanup of your content. This means your students for the upcoming year will have a fresh, lean loop course to access. Make sure to also deselect the items at the top of the list because these would have already been added during the creation of the new empty course. You might also want to delete your Zoom classroom. You might also want to deselect your assignments and take this opportunity to create new assignments for the upcoming year, which is good for supporting students' academic integrity. Choose next when ready. You now need to confirm and review the content you wish to import. If you have left something out, you can use the previous button to go back and select it. It's also important to note that you can import at any stage during the year. So if during the semester you realise something from last year's course is useful, you can use this import function again to import it from last year to this year. Choose perform import when ready. Depending on how much content you have chosen to import, it might take a few minutes for the import to occur. Do not click anything on the page or navigate away from loop. After some time has elapsed, you will receive a success message telling you that the import is complete. So choose continue to return to your course. Scan through your course, making sure the activities and resources are in the right location. You might need to move some of them around. Turn on editing mode. Don't forget to also configure the contact block. Enter your name, email address, contact hours, and replace the placeholder image with your own profile photo. Change the image description. And change the image size to something a bit smaller. Choose Save Changes. You might also want to edit the module handbook here with your own module's details. Use the cog icon to enter editing mode for each of the chapters in the module handbook.
If your library guide block does not have a pre-populated link for your particular discipline or school, insert it. The full list of library guides can be found on the library website. Copy and paste the correct URL into the link box. Don't forget that you also need to set the start date and end date for your course, and you can do that by going to the Actions menu and choosing Edit Settings. Then select the start and end date, which should be from when the module commences and the end date should be when the module concludes. This means that students will see this module on their dashboard as either in progress, future or past. It doesn't prevent access to the course, however. If you want to prevent students from seeing the course until it's ready, change the course visibility. Just be sure to change it back when it's time for students to commence their studies. If at any stage you have difficulty with importing your Loop content, log a ticket with the ISS Help Desk or come along to one of our regular Loop drop-in clinics, details of which can be found in the TEU events calendar on Google Calendar.